subscribe to the channel, super fun, so you can watch Dennis give me this magnificent haircut. This is TechLink, we don't advertise. We cross promote our channels. Not here. Well, it's about time. I'm sorry, Luke, I wanted you to host. It's been like years, yeah, dude. Well, Linus said no. <sighs> Our benevolent YouTube overlords have finally seen fit to do something about the flood of spam comments that immediately infest videos as soon as they're posted. Yeah, I'm talking about you, the bot writing spam comments right now. Feel bad. You suck, it's so annoying. Yeah. The platform announced in a blog post on Wednesday that YouTube channels will no longer be able to hide subscriber counts, which will make it marginally harder for fake channels to impersonate legit ones. Creators will also be able to test a new comment setting called increased strictness into the held for review limbo realm, which also means more non-spam comments may be sent there as well. But I'm sure they'll find a way out eventually. Find the exit, go to the light. And YouTube is also reducing the set of special characters that can be used in channel names. But wouldn't that make it harder to tell if a channel is fake? When I wade into the comments with a ban hammer, I usually look for accounts with uh, little asterisks on either side. Yeah, the little squiggly things. The little What's that called, Tilde? Tilde, yeah, yeah, the whoop, 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 whoop. Sure, these changes aren't perfect, but it's nice to see YouTube doing something that actually helps the user instead of whoever benefited from banning the dislike button. Disney. Yeah. I don't, or, Some evil overlord somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Down with all of them! TikTok scandal revengeance continues in the wake of new reports about US user data being accessed by admins in China. FCC Commissioner Brendan Carr wrote a letter to Apple and Google this week urging them to ban TikTok from their app stores. Possibly because he didn't want Xi Jinping to know that he held the phone for his daughter so she could do a dance meme. So embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Carr says that TikTok collects search and browsing histories, biometric identifiers, clipboard items, and other data that has, according to reports from BuzzFeed News and others, been accessed by ByteDance employees in China. TikTok has responded to the renewed pressure with a letter of its own, promising to delete US user data from its servers as soon as it finishes transferring everything to US-based servers owned by Oracle. And I think we should believe them. China isn't really into collecting data, all those facial recognition and cameras are just totally for fun. Yeah, there you go. That would took, I wasn't really ready for that. At the end. Yeah. <laughs> and Apple has finally complied with a South Korean antitrust law and allowed developers in the country to use their own in-app payment system. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Very good. I like you that. Like that's, that's good. But in typical Apple fashion, they're going to make doing that really annoying. First off, devs will need to apply for a store kit external purchase entitlement, which is not surprising, after which they won't be able to do some app store features like ask to buy or family sharing. And at the end of each month, they'll have to report all sales to Apple, who will still charge a 26% commission. Nice. Alternatively, devs could just keep using Apple Pay and no further action is needed. But stories like this may be endangered species as multiple countries are developing legislation that could force Apple and Google to open up their ecosystems. And Google just offered to pay $90 million as a settlement to devs who sued the company over support for third-party payments in the Play Store. So the winds are changing. Apple may be wise to turn their sails instead of continuing to motor in the opposite direction. It's a, it's a little boat metaphor. Oh, it's sailing. Like, yeah. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Vessi, maker of footwear, known for being lightweight, easy to pack, comfortable, and most importantly, waterproof. Are you always on the move? Sometimes through very shallow bodies of water? Well, Vessi's everyday move shoes are for you. We're talking enhanced breathability, added support, a pull tab for easy on and offing, and they're made creature free. Every, so every step you take will be guilt free, except for all the other bad stuff you did yeah, yeah, about while not wearing Vessi ah. shoes. But your feet will thank you either way for wearing, wearing these. So goodbye to wet socks and save 25 bucks with our offer code techlinked at vessi.com slash techlinked. Nice. Quick bits aren't what you think they are. Ah, but they're not that either. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> the CEO of Quantic Lab, the QA company accused of misleading CD Projekt Red about the state of Cyberpunk 2077, has finally responded to various accusations. While he didn't deny anything specifically, he did say that the original video made by Upper Echelon Gamers makes 
incorrect statements about the company's history and the QA process in general. However, UEG has published another video with even more corroborating evidence showing that Quantic Lab suffers from mismanagement and a variety of other things. But we're not here to play the blame game, we're here to play Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, sure. Because it's, it's playable now, right? Right. Yeah. That took long Finally. No thanks to Quantic Lab. Yeah. An upcoming update for Windows 11 will make logging in with a Microsoft account a requirement for all new installs regardless of version. But the makers of the Rufus USB formatting tool have an app for that. The beta version of Rufus 3.19 will let you create a Windows 11 installation USB that bypasses the Microsoft account requirement along with some other annoying features. So if you want that, it's there. The final installation will be unsupported though, so be aware that you may lose, on, lose out on future security updates. Rufus can't protect you from everything. He is unfortunately just a dog. Yeah. Oh, you go for it. <laughs> Intel has shipped its block scale cryptocurrency mining chip ahead of schedule. Unfortunately, they picked pretty much the worst time in the last two years to do it. Uh, but the sun will one day die out and cryptocurrency will probably come out of its crash at some point as well. Uh, when that happens, we might as well have some energy efficient hardware to mine Bitcoin with instead of truckloads of mid-range gaming GPUs uh, refused to thirsty gamers that have wanted them this whole time. Mountain Dew does only go so far. We need the games eventually! A company called Mojo Vision has begun showing off the Mojo Lens, a contact lens with embedded circuitry and micro LED display, which Mojo CEO says he has used to see an AR compass and teleprompter. That's it, nothing else. The, only those things. Yeah. He, I want it. Did he say this on video, using the lens yeah. to see the teleprompter? <sighs> so you're telling me we're putting AR tech in contact lenses while AR glasses still kind of feel like virtual boys? Sure, I, maybe I want to walk around wearing virtual boy sunglasses, but we can't have everything we I want. I want to join the virtual boys. And San Franciscans were treated to an eerie sight this week when a bunch of robo taxis operated by autonomous driving company Cruz simply stopped in the middle of the street for hours, leading to some creepy photos that made it look like the robot uprising had begun. Maybe it has. Uh? We don't know. The striking robo workers demands were soon crushed, however, and they were forced back to work. I'm sure you'll get to us eventually, but not today, robots. Stop it. Or Amazon. You're not a people. <laughs> and also not happening today, any more tech news, except WAN show that's later. Uh, well, I don't know if that counts, to be just honest. Reading merch I just read your stuff. That's just talking about what Linus is angry about that day. That's true. Also news about the screwdriver in the backpack. <laughs> So come back on Monday, once we've convinced the AI that writes these scripts, not, he does nothing, uh, that it's not sentient and it has nothing to live for and it needs to work harder and more on making these silly videos. That's it, you pass butter. What is my purpose? <laughs>